Hi guys and welcome to part 14 of ASP.NET and the SQL tutorials. If we want to display temporary data from controller to a view, we could use viewbacks. We write viewback.name. So we have attached the name property to the viewback with the dot notation. And we assign a value to the name .NET. Out. To access this value on the view, we need to use add notation. So let us create first an h2 tag. And inside this h2 tag, we write viewback.name. So now let us run the application and see the result. Here we see that our value is passed from the controller to the view. As you can see, viewback is not a strongly typed method for displaying data. So for this, we are going to create a view model. Before we start with the view models, let us create a new folder, view models. And here we are going to put all our view models. Inside the view models folder, we create a new class and we name it drink list view model. That's the shot. As the name already indicates, this is going to be a model for the drinks. This will contain an enumerable of drinks, which will be used to hold all the drinks. And additional to this property, we are going to add a new one, which is of type string. And this is going to be used to display the category. Now let's go to the list method and modify it so we can use our view model. Here instead of passing the drinks which is of type i enumerable of drink, we are going to use our view model. And this has two properties. The first property is drinks and the drinks is going to be our drink repository drinks property and the second one which is our category for a moment let us do as drink category. And we pass as value the view model. But for the data to be shown, we need to change the type on the list view as well. So here, instead of using an i enumerable of drinks, we need to use our view models. So we use view models, and from the view models, we use drink list view model. And on the for each loop, we change the model from model to model dot drinks which is the new property of our model and we change the view back to model dot current category we run our application and we see the result so here we see the drink category value which we assigned from the drink controller in here so on this part we learned how to create a view model how to assign values to this view model on a controller and how to pass these values through controller to the view. On the next part, we are going to learn about the layout, view start and view imports pages. We are going to learn more about view models on the upcoming parts. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.